what are the 14 domains of ISO 27001? In the old version of the standard, there was 11 domains. In the new version of the standard, there's 14 domains. I want to just stop everybody right now and say, forget about that. Stop thinking about the 14 domains. I want you to just worry about the 10 sections of the standard. And I want you to worry about the 114 controls at the back of the standard and forget this concept of domains. The, the, the idea of domains talks about you know, areas of management. And so what it starts to talk about, and I'll just give you a couple of examples because I've got some notes here, uh, is it, you know, it kinds of talks about, let me just quickly come back here to this link that I had open, uh, which was, uh, it's talking about, you know, security improvements and it's talking about company security policy and asset management and phys physical and environmental security and access control and security incident management and compliance. It kind of gives you, you know, uh, headings, if you like. So, you know, what is generally, how do we treat company security generally? How do we, com how do we treat asset management? How do we treat physical environmental security? How do we treat access control? How do we treat compliance, for example? So those kinds of things that I want you to be thinking about, you know, sort of broader topics, um, you know, in, in the context of the business, but just focus on implementing the system and then focus on, um, focus on, your controls and then if you need more information on the domains then you can say okay well let's what are the risks in company security policy what are the risks in asset management what are the risks in physical environmental security it sort of gives you subject matter areas what are the risks in asset access control what are the risks in security incident management what are the risks in compliance and let's make sure our risk management system deals with those issues as we go